Okay, writers, let's get started on our writing for today. Um, hopefully, you are able to locate your story planner today, as well as your story that you've been working on. And then also see if you can find that original page that we did where we drew a sketch of the character and we drew circles around it to show some character traits that that character might have. And make sure you have a clean page for today too. Today, the goal for our writing lesson is to make sure that our stories make sense and that they have all the parts that we originally intended them to have by um, writing down these three events here. So you're probably not done with your story. I do not expect you to be done with your fiction book yet. But since you're in the middle of it, I do want you to focus on where the story is going and what are the parts that you still need to put in. Okay, so if I look at my story hand, I'm going to make sure that I have the things that are on here. Do I have a cow and a pig in my story as my characters? Yes, I do. Okay, I can check that off. Did I write down where my setting was? Um, in my story, do I talk about there being a pizzeria? Oh, well, yes, I do. So I told my reader where the setting is. Do I also say that sometimes the characters are in their houses? Oh, yes, I do, because I have that one page where I drew um, Matilda, Moo, and Petey in the house, and Mortimer's knocking on the door. Okay, so I have that. Event number one, Petey wants to have his birthday party. Okay, did I put that page in the story already? Let me check. Petey, there he is. He wants to have his birthday party at Matilda Moose, and it says it there in the words. All right, so I don't have to do that page anymore. Event two, all the supplies were gone. Ooh, do I have that page? Yes, I do. I've included that page here where Matilda and Petey found out that the supplies were gone. Okay, this is how I want you to go through your story hand. Piece by piece, figure out if you have the parts that you want. Maybe you haven't gotten to event number three yet. That's okay. But make sure you know that that is eventually going to go in your story. My story's all done, so I can check for those things and I can check to see that I have all of them. If your story's not done, then just make sure that eventually you get those parts into your book. The other thing you need to make sure is that your character um, has these traits. And a character trait is something that the reader knows about the character, something the reader can find out by reading the story. So I said Matilda Moo here was going to be friendly. Now, I need to figure out, does my story say anywhere in it that Matilda is friendly? It, that does not mean that I have to write a sentence that says, like, Matilda is a friendly cow. I could write that, but I could also write something that just demonstrates that she's friendly without actually saying it. You as the reader can figure out that she's friendly without me being like, Matilda Moo is a friendly cow. So are there any parts where I can say that Matilda is demonstrating friendliness? Well, let's look at this page. I wrote, eventually Matilda was able to forgive Mortimer. She even decided to teach him to make pizza so he could help her in her shop. Did I say Matilda was friendly? No. Is she doing something that is friendly? Yes, she is. She forgave Mortimer, even though he was mean to her. And she taught him how to make pizza. That's something that a friend would do. Okay, so now this um, chart that I made way back a long time ago when we started this, it's going to help me out because 
I want to make sure that I show who the character, who the main character is by saying all of these things in my story. Friendly is not a word I used in the story. That's okay. I showed that she was friendly. Here's another one. Hard worker. My story never says Matilda Moo is a hard worker, but does Matilda Moo do anything that demonstrates she's a hard worker? Yeah. She, um, it says her friends loved the special cheese that she used because it was so delicious. So she's working hard to make her friends happy. Um, everyone agreed that Matilda Moose was the best pizza. That must mean she works really hard to make the pizza. Um, she hosts birthday parties at her pizzeria. So that shows that she's a hard worker. She's a good business cow. Um, so again, your story does not have to actually say these words in it, but make sure that your main character has these traits and that you've been showing how your main character is doing these things that you named on this paper a long time ago. If you can't find that paper, then you might have to just pause your story for today and make a new one because it's important that we keep track and we um, are able to name the traits of our main character. Otherwise, the main character doesn't have a very good personality, doesn't have a very good character development. We want our characters to be really... Um, to really be unique and to stand out in our stories. And we do that by making sure that we know who our characters are before we continue writing about them. Okay, so your job for today is to make sure your story makes sense so far. Make sure you're using your story hand so that you either have all of these things or you're still planning on having some of these things that you haven't put in yet. And make sure that your character is showing the things that you named when we first started this, because that is who you said you wanted your character to be. Have fun writing.